You want to know the best kept secret as to why most artists aren't able to grow their fan base? Here's the thing, we've heard it all, you've probably said it, I know I've said it. You know, you probably think it's because you don't understand marketing, you don't have a budget, or you don't have a team behind you, the algorithms keep changing. Pick your excuse, I've used to say it, you've probably said it, but today I'm going to help you end all those excuses and really help you understand why most artists and why you probably are having trouble growing your own fan base. So we're gonna dive into it. If you don't know, my name's Leezy the Gifted. I've been doing music for 13 years and I've been able to help a lot of independent hip hop artists grow their careers by teaching them this one skill. And I'm gonna teach you that one skill and really help you understand why that one skill is going to be the reason that you are going to grow and blow up in 2024. So let's get into it. So like I said, I kind of named off a bunch of excuses and the thing is, none of those excuses or reasons are why you're not able to grow your fan base. Maybe they are, but the thing is you're skipping a step. The first thing you have to understand is you've got to be able to put out a high quantity of high quality music. I think we can both agree that if you want to grow a successful career as an artist, you've got to put out a lot of music. To me, and what I've seen as successful to a lot of other artists, is if you're able to put out at least one song per month and market it effectively, then you're golden. But what's the problem? You're not able to put out a bunch of high quantity, high quality music. I was actually just talking to an artist and he hit me up and uh, wants to get into coaching with me with marketing stuff and to be truthful, I don't really do a lot of marketing coaching anymore. In fact, I don't really do any of it. For him, I'm probably gonna put together something customized, but it is going to be extremely expensive. I don't do that. And the thing is, he's not consistently releasing music because of this one thing. And if you can get this one thing dialed in and figured out, you are going to way more easily be able to successfully grow your fan base. So here's what it is. You need to be able to dial in the actual music creation process. So that means where are you getting beats? Where are you recording vocals? How are you getting mixing and mastering done? And let's go over the best way to be able to dial in your music creation process so that it's easy for you to put out a high quantity of high quality music. That way, when you do get the marketing figured out and you do actually have the budget for the marketing, it's gonna be easy for you to pump out songs. And by the way, from my own personal experience, I can speak on this, I've been doing music for 13 years as an artist. For the first seven years, it was tough to grow. One, yeah, I wasn't really that good of an artist. I was just starting out, but the reality of it was I wasn't able to effectively create, finish, and release enough music. I'm sure that we can all agree that 99% of artists fail and only 1% of artists ever get to that next stage which is becoming a full-time musician. You can have the chops, you can have the, the personality and the passion for the music, but 99%, you are fighting the odds. So just you saying, I'ma beat the odds, you know, I'ma do it, I'ma be the one, that, that's not gonna make you the one, <laughs> right? There's a reason only 1% of artists ever gets to that point where they can really pay their bills with music and even get to that next level, which is becoming wealthy. 99% of artists fail because they choose to go on the route of hiring producers, buying beats on BeatStars, getting beats off YouTube, going into the studio, paying for mixing and mastering, and waiting weeks and weeks to get their songs back. So why is it that only 1% of artists make it? It's because they choose to produce their own music at home, record vocals at home, and mix and master on their own so that they can get music done faster. So I wanna explain the stages of producing your own music and how that helps with fan base growth. So 99% of artists think that they have a marketing problem, but really they have a music creation problem. They also have a consistency problem. A lot of artists have a problem with just sitting down and consistently making music. They let whatever is in their head get in the way. And the reason only 1% of artists end up succeeding is because they don't have to think about where their next song is coming from. Take me for example, and I'm not tooting my own horn and I'm not anywhere near where I wanna be, but I have kind of entered into that 1% because I'm able to make a full-time income as a musician. Like for example, I got one of my songs, Watch Me, to over 100,000 views on YouTube, and I got my song, Necesito Que Regreses, over 20,000 streams, and now I've been able to grow my Instagram account to over 18,000 followers, and I'm gaining somewhere around 1,500 to 2,000 new followers a month. I've also been paid thousands of dollars to do freelance music production for other artists. I've even been able to run ads and sell CDs in 2022 and 2023 to brand new fans. And of course, I've done a lot of shows. One of my clients, Alex Browse, he actually goes by Vision. He even was able to get results with working with me as well. 
Now, I don't do any marketing coaching like I mentioned earlier, but back when I was doing one-on-one -on -one marketing coaching, my client Alex came in and basically the way it worked was I showed him how to set up my rapid fire fan base attraction system to where he's able to actually get inbound fans around five to 10 new fans per day that are hitting him up, asking him to hear his music, listening to it, loving it, becoming his fan and giving their email address and him even selling CDs as well. Oh, and no coincidence, Alex fully produces his own music. He makes his own beats, records his own vocals at home, mixes and masters. Also, I've got another client, her name is Ange. She's a 19, well, she's 19 now, and uh, she's from Toronto, and she used to take over three months to make a song, so she definitely had a consistency problem. She worked with me in the Rapid Fire Music Academy, and she ended up getting two songs done in eight weeks. These are songs that were completely from scratch, made the beats, wrote the lyrics, recorded the vocals, mixed and mastered it. So she went from taking over three months to make one song to getting two songs done in eight weeks. Then she said, hey Lee, listen, I do like being an artist, but I'm more passionate about the business side and I would actually rather produce for other artists. So she joined my rapid fire fan, uh, no, no, sorry, not that one. She joined my rapid fire production sales accelerator. And in the first 30 days, she ended up landing seven music production clients. What does all this learn, right? These artists, like examples like Alex, Ange, I'll take another client of mine, Ryan. Uh, Ryan B, he's an amazing, he's an amazing artist. I freaking love Ryan. So he used to spend thousands of dollars on beats, mixing, mastering, and recording time. He actually ended up quitting his music career because he was so sick of relying on other people. And what ended up happening was he joined my Rapid Fire Music Academy and had no music production experience at all, none. In the first six weeks, he ended up making like 15 beats. Now he's been in the program three months and his, his results are astounding. And by the way, I'm gonna preface this and say his results are irregular. What he's been able to accomplish in, in, in these three months has been, has been irregular. He's gotten the best results. And what he ended up doing was he made over 30 beats and wrote and recorded five songs that he fully produced. And one of the songs is completely mixed and mastered. That's not regular. That's definitely abnormal results. Um, I have other clients that have gotten great results as well, but Ryan's results are incredible and it's very possible. I'll give you another example. One of my clients, Carlos, um, so he came into the program and had never made a song. His experience was singing in his car and in the shower, okay? He had his recording set up, he had a computer, but he never had any kind of production experience. What ended up happening with him was astounding. Okay, so in the first five weeks of working with me, he made three beats and fully wrote and recorded a song. And it's actually a freaking banger. And it's just crazy because he had never even sat down to write and record a song. He ended up making a beat, recording vocals, and I think he's been in the program about two months and he's just finishing up mixing that song with no prior production experience. So. These are a, a few of the clients that I've worked with in the Rapid Fire Music Academy. And the way it works is uh, there is a guarantee because obviously there's an upfront investment. So the way it works is you get two things guaranteed at the end of 90 days. Number one, you're gonna have at least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered by you that you're excited to release. And number two, you have all the skills you need to never have to buy beats, go on YouTube to get beats, pay for mixing and mastering, wait to meet up with anybody or wait to get your songs back or ever have to wonder where your next song is coming from for the rest of your career. And the way it works is if after 90 days, both of those things are not accomplished, I keep working with you for free until they're accomplished. So if that sounds interesting to you, then you can book a call with me. Would love to see if you'd be a good fit. I would be more than happy to get on a call and uh, see if it's something that you would, you would wanna do and see if it's something that you're even interested in and if it's something to help your career. But Think about this, imagine this. Imagine that you wake up every day, you walk out of your bedroom and you walk into your living room or maybe the, your studio's in your bedroom and you're able to just snap your fingers and from scratch create an entire song in one day or in one week. Don't you think you'd be able to more effectively market your music? Don't you think it'd be easier for you to think about how to grow your fan base because you actually have the headspace to think about it? Now you don't have to think about, where, well, how am I gonna get money to buy an exclusive beat or oh, I gotta save up money to go to the studio or I gotta save up money to get my songs mixed and mastered and oh yeah, I have to wait weeks to write the song and go to the studio and get my songs back. It's kind of a no-brainer. So if it's something you're interested in, click below, 
book a call. I definitely look forward to talking with you and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got some value. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel too, all right? Hope you got some value from the video. Appreciate you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.